This is North Dakota Today. Hello, happy Tuesday, everybody. Thank you so much for joining us here at North Dakota Today. My name is Ashlyn Hill. I'm Marla Mayhew. And I'm Anna Johnson. Woo, Woo. Tuesday. Post, Wednesday, post Monday, free <laughs> Wednesday. I'm just trying to keep my life straight here. <laughs> so, yeah, we all are, are waking up thinking, what is it again? But yeah, we're here. And we have a lot going on in studio. Oh, yeah. yeah. Nicole Jaspers is here. What an amazing performer she's oh going to be. Oh, my gosh. We're going to hear some live music. Yes. We Always a good day. That. Yes. So much cool stuff happening today, mm -hmm. this whole week, really. Um, obviously, tomorrow's $10 DIY Wednesday. Mm -hmm. We love yes. We also have food this week because this is North Dakota today and that is what we do. So Perfect. Yeah, so it's very <laughs> exciting. Have you, I know that you recently moved here. Yes. Have you been to the Mall of America? I've never been to the Mall of America. Is that a big mall, Marlon? It's ginormous. <laughs> it's a big mall. It's Alorius. <laughs> you know, actually I found the meaning of Alorius. Yes. And it actually means to have like a spiritual enlightenment. <gasps> That's not so, wrong. So yeah, it is an Alorius Mall. It's a spiritual enlightenment when you go to that mall. That's how I feel when I'm shopping, <laughs> honestly. Yeah. I love that. It's so funny. In case you missed yesterday's episode, we had some vocabulary terms that uh, Marlon made up. Well, we thought he made up, but they're real, Turns obviously. Turns out they're real, because Marlon's smarter than all of us, I guess. I have Typical. An out outlandish <laughs> mouth, yeah. yeah. Anyway, that was cute, but no, I've yes. never been. So we ran that package yesterday. Yeah. Also today in the Valley today, we talked about how the wedding chapel inside is closing. Yeah. That's what I wanted to ask about. So I, that's what I'd heard that. So there's a wedding chapel inside Mall of America. I've never knew that. Never seen it. I know it's it's Chapel of Love. People could go there and have weddings just like kind of, you know, the Vegas vibe. Yeah. And uh, unfortunately, it's closing its doors. But people over decades have gotten married there. You can see the cute pictures, and you can get your dress and everything that you need. Um, I think that's adorable. They've served 8,400 couples. Yeah. That's a lot. My mm -hmm. goodness. I love the idea of it. It's not my thing, but I think it's <laughs> wonderful. I'm, it's because I'm too much of a planner. I've never been the kind of person that's like, let's get married right now and buy a wedding dress at the same store I get my bouquet. Like, right. I, I'm just not yeah. that person. So, but they are closing do their doors. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> All right. Well, uh, Ashlyn is single and. <laughs> Oh no, now Looking we've opened. To get married at the chapel alone. We've opened too many doors now. <laughs> Luckily the chapel's closing, so so is that Aww. topic. No, but but they are finishing out weddings for the rest of the month. Yeah. August 28th will be the last day and they keep saying yeah. that a lot of the couples who did get married there are kind of going in for like a last hurrah to, to relive their memories and stuff like that. But no, I've never been to that mall and I was telling you guys yesterday I always wanted to go because that's where all the concerts were. Yeah. Britney Spears always had a stop there, Christina Aguilera always did, uh, the Backstreet Boys and NSYNC all of my favorite little teeny bopper bands always had a major stop at the Mall of America and I was always so sad like why couldn't I be there so <laughs> nope still have you yet to go. You maybe still can. Britney's playing again. <laughs> I think Backstreet Boys is getting back together for Christmas. Well I did Las see that Las Vegas in actually offered Britney a couple residencies so there's something in the mix there. Ooh. All right well I'll check out the tour who's stopping at the Mall of America. <laughs> so have you guys been to Vegas? Never. No. <laughs> Not Vegas a gambler. is like the wedding capital capital of right, the world. Right. Yes. Wedding ch no, capital no, capital? <laughs> it's my turn today. <laughs> Remix. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's a very, very cool place. I could definitely see, and I have tried to convince my husband <clears throat> to renew our vows in Vegas at oh. one of those cute little When's your anniversary? September. Uh -oh. So it's coming up. Yeah, so it is. I don't know if we're going to make it this <laughs> So year. when she's gone for a week, we'll know. <laughs> right. We'll video in. You know they stream them. They stream the Do weddings. They? Yes. Oh, I knew someone who did get married and then they live stream them. Cute wow. would that be for like live on North Dakota today? <laughs> there you go. It's happening. Anna's renewing her vows. Right. I'll, be, I'll become an ordained minister so I can That'd be so be the official. Can you wear an Elvis suit? <laughs> yes. First of all, yes. And I would also like to wear one. <laughs> Secondly, I'm thinking we all need to go to Vegas because I want to do that zip line that goes through yeah. that yes. main square. Yes, Street. Mm -hmm. Okay. See? Mm -hmm. We've Speaking got a lot about to do. Elvis, <laughs> did you know that today was his anniversary of passing? Really? No. Yeah. So oh. Kelly Preston was on earlier on a different station and talking about the most amazing thing about Elvis and how he cultivated this amazing career in music. Mm -hmm. So that is so crazy. A little tidbit for the day. Did you see the movie? I love that. No, I haven't. I heard that is really good. I really want to see it too. Yeah. I'm a fan of Austin yeah. Butler. He plays Elvis in, yeah. in the film and I really want to see I it. I heard he did an incredible job and I heard part of the reason is because he was able to nail different decades of Elvis's yes. voice. 
Yes. <sighs> Whereas See, other people it. haven't really figured that out. Yeah. And all of a sudden he's like, yeah, as he aged, his voice changed. Like, and yeah, and he actually sings in the film. Yeah, yes. himself. Oh, yeah, I gotta see so it. Cool. Did you know Wayne Newton and Elvis were friends? I could see that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That checks out. It's that weird. seems on brand. I don't remember where I heard this. <laughs> uh, I think I saw a show on it. Wayne Newton was talking about um, he, after Elvis died, Elvis is his really close friend. He was asked to play at an Elvis tribute. And he was mm. really conflicted because Elvis was his friend, but he's like, oh, this is so hard to do because mm. you know you're never going to be as good as the king. And he said that when he agreed to do it, and he went there, and he was rehearsing on the stage, you know they have balconies, and he saw Elvis standing in the balcony. Wow. <gasps> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, he was, he was doing his moves. <laughs> you, that, that butler character, he has the, the mannerisms down, too, Does they he? said. Yeah. That's a see? mark of an incredible yeah. actor. Wait, I got to see it. I got to yeah. see it. Everyone who's seen it at home is probably yelling at the TV right now, like, <laughs> go watch it. It's great. Or you hated it. So either way. <laughs> or you love the Doja Cat song, and you want to see how <gasps> okay, somehow yes. that plays into the film. Yes. I don't know. Yes. Mostly from TikTok is why I love that mm -hmm. song. Uh, but yes. Cool. Yeah. I, I spend an unfortunate amount of time on TikTok. I think, uh, <laughs> do you? I was going to admit to it. Not really. I don't, TikTok's not my jam. I'm more of like Instagram mm. and Snap. But I like, nope, to, I like to watch TikTok yeah. for like the uh, dance challenges or like mm -hmm. things of that nature. Yeah. And cooking. They have really good cooking. Yeah, they like do. DIYs. Oh my and gosh, they're quick too. Yes. yes. So then they keep my attention. Yep. <laughs> have you guys seen the guy that cooks with the puppet and they sing a song together no and gosh i wish i remember what it was but anyway it's it's a guy and he's like hey dog how do i make these pancakes and then <laughs> the dog's like let me tell you bro and then like go through this whole song we're About getting the like, live tiktok show right, right here right everybody here. oh Lucky my gosh you. it's so funny you should try to find it guys right. okay you'll see it once and you'll be like that is exactly what she's talking about it's a man and a puppet well you know what we're lucky we have an actual musical guest here today <laughs> yeah, we yeah. don't really worry are. it's not just us everybody we've got a lot coming up here so stick oh. tuned we have the first steals and deals <laughs> hey everyone it's melissa radke here and i have a question for you do your teenagers enjoy hanging out with you no, no is the answer you're looking for. That's because you have to up your game. My niece here, see, she thinks I'm awesome. But that's because I give her dirty cookie. Dirty cookie is a cookie in the shape of a shot glass. What's a shot glass? Oh, I don't know. I've never seen one until today. Cookies that are in the shape of a shot glass are fun, waiting to happen. You can decorate them. You can fill them with your favorite drink, like ice cold milk or espresso, and then you can enjoy them. Oh, together. I'm telling you, kids at any age will love all the different flavors and the fun that comes in the box, Dirty Cookie. Listen, do I think that she wants to spend time with me just for Dirty Cookie? <laughs> no, I think she loves me for me. Isn't that right? Okay, I'm gonna pretend I didn't say that. You know what? Right now, you can get Dirty Cookie for 32% off. This is a party in a box. Your birthdays, your slumber parties, your grandbabies, they will love it. All you have to do right now is go to localsteals.com before her and I buy them 